Welcome back to Pentiment, my dear friends and deep thinkers. It's crazy what happened right now. We, Andreas, have burned, and now we're Magdalene Druckerin Tassing. We're an avid reader and possess a strong academic understanding of bookmaking, organization, and preservation techniques. Andreas burned. We, we don't even know what happened. That's Martha Pfeifferin, that we know. And we don't even know what happens. But yeah, we tried to resolve it, but it all ended in chaos and in an, in an angry mob. Unstoppable. But at least some people came out alive, and we'll have to see. I mean, can't we carry? I mean, yeah. So we have a task now, at least. We must get... Uh, to, to Drucker, the Drucker place, and catch the stuff from our fathers and bring it to him in the rat house. We're a woman now, so we have to be extremely careful. So that's our home. Because everyone could do anything in these times to a woman. And I think we should we should really wander off a bit for, for a while. And let's see what is happened. Look at the guest house. It's overgrown. The abbot's house. It's overgrown. Does that mean the monastery, the abbey, is no more? It seems like it. The shrine is open though. And the hand is here again, the hand of St. Moritz. The poor Clares take care of it now that the Benedictines are gone. This means this is all... It's all burned and gone. Great. Great stuff. Oh, well, maybe for the better. Oh, there's Sister Gertrude. God bless you, Magdalene. Pet son of Mausfanger. <laughs> mm. There's not much left here. I mean, it looks like it's very early, right? We could enter here. Oh, hello, Margarete. <clears throat> hello, Margarete. It's Magdalene. Oh, Magdalene, God bless you. You don't normally come to the convent alone. What brings you here? Not that you're not welcome, of course. It's always wonderful to have visitors. Had some spare time and thought I would say hello. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> it's good to hear your voice, though. I, I enjoy it when outsiders visit the convent. Don't miss the outside world much, sister. Yes, sometimes. I miss the other Benedictine sisters, especially. She'd never admit to it, but Sister Lisbeth had the most wonderful voice. I always stood next to her if I could. I mean, why stay then? Why didn't you leave when the Benedictines left Kiesau? Margarita, her truth be told, I was too frightened to leave. Kiesau is my home. I didn't like the idea of becoming accustomed to a new place. Learning the convent's ins and outs was hard enough. I never went outside the convent much anyway. I know where everything is here. Even if it's changed over the years. Sister Gertrude had already planned to stay too. The garden always needs tending, and two hands make light work. Besides, I can't leave my finger behind. Hmm. Yeah. Kiesa is a wonderful place to call home. Has the convent changed very much since the poor Claire's arrived? Yes, the food is simpler, and some of the prayers are different, but all the chores and gardening is the same. Gertrude misses making ink for the scriptorium, but I've enjoyed learning the sisters' new customs. Speaking of which, I should probably return to my chores. Of course, sister, apologies for interrupting. Not at all, Magdalene. God bless you. I wonder if sister Zdena is still there. Is she the... The prioress? No. 
Francisca. No, I, they moved away, right, Francisca? God bless you, Magdalene. So the poor Claire's moved in here. Interesting. Whoa. A lot to take in, eh? So that's mostly destroyed. Let's go through the meadow. Is the mill still there? Yeah, it's a different mill, though. Where's the miller? A pet Sousa. Sweetie. Hmm. Who's that little one here? Andreas. Hello. You can call me Magdalene. Andreas. Magdalene. Magda works too. Magda. There you go. What are you up today? Drawing. Anything interesting? No secrets. Oh, I see. I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> oh my god. We cannot go to the Ro Roman ruins either. This is little Andreas. So... Oh, that's old Elsa. Hello, Magdalene. So that means the miller's son is now... Oh, no. God bless you, Magdalene. If Ulrike... Magdalene! Hello, Ulrike. Hello! What are you doing? Watching! Very well, keep up the good work. Work hard, just like Mum. I will work now. <laughs> She's playing. Uh, at least that's that's kind of healing the soul. Let's see how we incinerate everything this time again. Is there another vision? And how old is Father Thomas now? Do we know anything about this? Mary, Mother of Jesus. Her painting has been here as long as I can remember. Or is there someone new guarding the church? Our house. Now we want to pick up the plans here, right? Oh, we could sleep here. That's that's our family. That's our dead brother. Whoa! Have to grab this. Rat House mural sketches. I think this is what my dad wants. I think these are all of the plans. What is? Is this part of the plans? Oh no. Stop. Her off. Huh? This isn't that handwriting. I can actually kind of read this. Thank God he's a printer. Well, whatever, I'll bring it just in case. Alright, I'd better get these over to the rat house. Oh, it's who, whoever is this is still alive. Taking everything down and out. Oh, oh God. <sighs> who is this? I can only think of Father Thomas, but... Uh, anyways, let's let's continue our look around. Uh, and we go down. Oh, we can go to the... We came from the forest, right? Maybe something has changed there. Did it? It's still smoky. Still alive. No, watch his love. Uh, watch his love is back. Hello, Magdalene. Hello, Magdalene. 
Nice to see some green this time of the year. Whorehound is one of the few plants that grows year-round here. Apparently we are well read about everything. Can't believe how quickly the leaves changed this year. Mm -hmm. There's something in the waterfall. I want to know what's here. The waterfall is always so beautiful. We see new things, but what is at the salt mine? There's the mine shaft. The old salt mines. No one's mined in Tassing for ages, yes. Is this changed? No, we don't see this changed. My goodness, this is too long. Whoever would live this long? All the monks are gone, so none of the monks has been this. I, I'm... Is it Father Thomas, really? The one riling up everyone. It could be Thomas, Father Thomas. Martin Bauer Farm. Hmm. Magdalene. Hello, Magdalene. Do they have a kid now, or did that didn't that work out? I don't see no kid here. There's an empty house. An empty house. Now we have the Hans Bauer farm. Oh right. Hey, Magdalene. And Hedy is still there. Hello, Magdalene. Hey, Magdalene, Simon says, and Hans. Hello, Magdalene. Hello, Hans. Did you need something? Kraft hasn't bothered you again, has he? Or gotten into some other trouble with Kraft? That guy. No, he's been fine mostly. Good. That boy is a thorn in my boot. Lazy, arrogant, doesn't save for his family. He'll bring shame to the Bauer name one day. I avoid sticking my nose into people's affairs, but Martin... Hmm. Anyway, I didn't mean to complain. Until later, Magdalene. Until then. My goodness. My goodness, he's still there. El Peter Magdalene. And did they have some kind of kid now? I don't guess. Hello, Magdalene. Hello, Magdalene. The Gerdner farm. There's the Gerdner bedroom. Why do we have access to their bedroom? Hmm. All right, all right. Uh, I, I guess we'll get to the town commons. Where were we supposed to? He's not a monk anymore. He settled down. Take them to the rat house? Yes. It is morning, Magdalene. Hey, Magda. Martha. Kind of our friend, right? Rezi. Good morning, Mistress Drukarin. So that's his wife now, right? Matilda. God bless you, Magdalene. And voice love. God bless you, Magdalene. Uh -huh. They went in together. We have Fabian. Good morning, Magdalene. And Ursula. Hello, Magdalene. Artemis. Hello, Magdalene. This is the Kreutzer house now. Black Till. 
Hallo Magdalene. Hallo Magda. Oh, this is Eva and Christina. Hi Magda. Hello Christina. What are you doing today? Happy mom. That's is right. You're really pretty. Oh, he said that? Uh huh. I heard him in Croft. Oh, I see. He <laughs> he. Don't tell. It's a secret. Oh, I'll keep it secret. <laughs> You're funny, Magda. Black Till. Get to the town commons. Oh, uh, yeah, Eva, Eva, Eva. What, what? What's happened here? Black Till Kreuzer. Let's get to the central town. Oh, the boys. It's hey again, Max. Mm. Are you serious? I just told you not to call me that. What are you doing out here? Don't you have better things to do? Birds, what business is that of yours? Craft, not me. All my work's done, Max. Follow, what do you care? It's not like... You've got important work to do. Uh, what are we into? A tinker? Domestics? Bookkeeping? Accounting? Let's do something really crazy. Tinkering. I keep the press running for my dad and I work with Baltas on his inventions. That seems a little more important than standing around the commons in the middle of the day. Follow Baltas' inventions are stupid. Doesn't seem like something a girl should be involved with, if you ask me. Right, no one did. Calm down, Max. You're going to get a reputation. Craft too late to worry about that. She already has a reputation. Likes to playfully tease and flirt with people. A strong negotiator. Mm. Pension for sneaking around, my goodness, barbs, skilled at stinging, countering, and otherwise deflating people in conversation. Hmm. Wow. Um, we could be gossipy, we could be haggling, we could be flirting. My goodness. Huh. I have to tell you something. I have to admit something out of that fourth wall thing. I never play women in RPGs because I have no idea how to play women. Really, it's, it's so hard for me. I have no idea. I have no idea at all. Let's see. I mean, so we tinker. What could fit with tinkering? Snooping? Haggling? Let's be business. Haggling! You've said there'll be four and it doesn't make any sense. I bargain like a man? What does that even mean? Well, what it sounds like. You're still mad at me because I convinced Gret to give me her last pretzel on Friday. Let it go. Easy for you to say when you got the pretzel. All right, we got it. Lay off. It says, did you get those things your dad wanted? Yes, that's why I was, I was on my way to the rat house. Hopefully I can drop these off and start my reading for the day. That's reading? What book is so important that you need to get back to it? Oh my goodness. Uh, Reformation and Counter-Reformation. Volksbücher. Trivia, almanacs, common knowledge and scatological stories. Polyglot. Yeah, let's go all the way out there. Master trader. Polyglot. Magdalene can speak any foreign languages other than Italian, but she can read a little of almost all of them. Don Florisel de Nicaea. Don what? Florisel, like flower. It's a knightly romance written in Castilian. Such a beautiful language. Who speaks that? 
Paper from Castille. Never heard of it. Right, sounds made up. I thought you read all kinds of old books. Well, I think it's worth preserving any of the manuscripts we come across. It's a shame what happened to the library at Kiesa. We lost centuries in one night. If we can keep some of the past alive, we should. Sounds like a lot of work. Right, no thanks, ha ha ha. Wait, Ötz, aren't you supposed to be at the Rathaus too? You're on the council. It's sure, but it's pointless without your dad's plans. Let's go. Ah, oh, fine. Klaus, I don't understand how we're still arguing about this. I still think Father Thomas is the, the evil spirit in all of this. These murals should depict the truth. What we know is the truth. Thomas, I don't think it's so simple, Klaus. Are you afraid of angering our Lord, Father Thomas? I think Father Thomas means that the truth is not so easily agreed upon. Yoga, I don't know. I'm tired of arguing. I just wanted to look nice and show what happened. Klaus Magdalene, thank you for bringing these. Maybe illustrations will succeed where talking has failed. I'm done arguing with them. I'll see you at home for supper. Thomas, it's all right, Magdalene. We don't need to see the drawings. It's not that we don't understand what he's trying to do. I didn't realize we had upset him so much. It sounds like things got worse after I left. Paul, well, we've been arguing about this for almost two hours. And for all the good it did us, he hasn't budged. What's the point of talking if you can't make any progress? Thomas Magdalene, could you speak to your father? Help him see things from your point of view? Father Thomas, I don't even know what you're all arguing about. What is your point of view? Thomas Klaus's strong, very strong opinions on how the history of Tassing of Kiersau Abbey should be portrayed. One and those portrayals may upset some of our neighbors. Paul, isn't the real concern that it's going to upset the Lord? Isn't everyone really worried about him coming here someday and seeing the revolt memorialized on the wall? Big Jörg, you keep saying that we all disagree with him. I don't think I do, not entirely. Well, what do you think, Jörg? I know I'm not the smartest man in this room, but I know what happened to my own dad. I know what he did. It doesn't feel right to ignore what happened to him, what happened to Otto. It's, look, you all knew my dad. I never had the chance. I don't want to make the people in this town angry. I don't want to make our Lord angry. None of us do, but maybe there's a way to tell this story in a way that's true without upsetting anyone. Thomas, so it's all very complicated, you see, Magdalene. Try to get him to consider a portrayal of our history that's a little less inflammatory. Hmm. My father was deeply ex affected by the revolt. It won't be easy to convince him of anything. Was the revolt was a major event for everyone in Tassing. I know how hard it was for him. Well, we need to come to an agreement or call off the mural entirely. He's been wanting to paint this mural for years. You can't tell him no all of a sudden. Well, then help us, Magdalene. Your father will listen to you. <sighs> Fine, but only so he can paint it, not on account of your bickering like children. Now I'm going back home. This mess has taken up too much of my day already. Yeah, why won't, why won't they depict the truth? We're all with Big Jörg here. Magdalene, thank you for bringing the drawings to the Rat House. I'm sorry it was a waste of time. Those men don't know what they want. When I tell them what I'm trying to do, they get scared. And they talk and talk and talk. They talk all day and we're never any closer to a decision. I'm sick of it, sick of the whole thing. Dad, I'm worried about, worried about you. I know I appreciate the concern. I suppose I haven't been this upset about something in a while. 
I'll get through it, just I just need time. Magdalene, why is it bothering you so much, Klaus? We all hear of these stories about what this place was, how it came to be. And it feels like history is something that happened before, happened to other people. But 18 years ago, we lived through something, you and I, everyone in Tussing. Everyone wants to forget about it, pretend it didn't happen. You don't. Klaus, no, I don't. All those years ago, I did nothing. I was worried for you, worried for Benjamin. Yeah, that were his Jewish friends, and Rachel and Esther. I was so afraid that I'd lose you. I wouldn't have been able to bear it. In the end, so many people died anyway. Peter and Ulrich and Andreas and all of the others. And we lived. Really, Dad, everyone says that it wouldn't have made any difference. If you and the others had fought, you would have died. I would have died. Klaus, maybe I could have stopped him from going to the mill. Or maybe we could have stopped the peasants from burning it down. But we will never know. Tulin. Uh, is that what this is about, this mural? Klaus, it's a chance to put something down in a place where everyone can see. If people start to forget, this will remind them. We were here. This happened. If I don't do it, who will? Darlene, you're, you're right, Dad. Because I wish the men in that rat house saw me the way that you do. They'll come around. I hope so, says Klaus. All the arguing has left me beat. I'm going to bed early. Darlene, all right. I'm going to stay up for a bit and write a letter to Esther. Good, please say hello to her from me. And her parents. I know, Dad. So Esther's the kid that was born that that night. Good night, Magdalene. I love you. I love you too. Oh my God, we're going to lose our dad. <sighs> All this running around has left me tired too. It would be nice to sit down at my desk and just write for a while. Ah... Uh, Yeah, maybe we should do that. All right, where to begin? Ah, I should write to Esther. Dearest Esther. Hmm. I hope you and your family are well. Dad sends his regards to your parents, like usual. I have spent the last few days collecting oak galls with Sister Gertrude. Yeah, the galls. That's definitely a thing. A parasitic growth which develops on oak trees caused by wasps laying their eggs under the tree bark. Oak galls were traditionally harvested and distilled into iron ink used in manuscripts. I don't suppose you have the chance to do that in Prague. Wow, she's living in Prague. Wow. Culture, culture, culture. Sister Gertrude has been teaching me how to grind them into a smooth ink. It's difficult work, but you don't find you'll find no better ink anywhere in Bavaria. I'll send along a bottle with this letter. <clears throat> Be sure to store it out of sunlight or else the colour will change. Oh did I mention Dad started a new project? He's painting a mural of Tassing's history in our new rat house to memorialize a revolt. The whole thing has me thinking about my own family history, past, present and future. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. I mean, would you want to take over or go out into the world? I don't think I want to stay in Tassing forever. I mean, we're learning foreign languages. It's clear that we want to go out. It's a quaint place to grow up, but I'm 20 now. Dad says I should take over the shop, but I want to do more with my life. Not just take over a print shop in some tiny town in the Alps. If I married a master printer, then I could become a part of the Printers Guild. And I'd be able to send Dad my extra earnings and make a name for myself in one of the cities. And yes, before you break the nib off your pen, I will come visit you in Prague, I promise. Prague, an imperial city of the Holy Roman Empire, 
The city's mint made it a hub for German and Italian bankers and merchants, and its university became a gathering place for many Reformation thinkers. I'll try to make time to visit before winter. Life has been bustling here. Dad's been busy with the Rathaus mural, so I've taken over the workshop. I'm sure it will be a sight to behold once it's finished. Write back to me soon. All my love, Magda. Now we have a chronometer. Yeah, right, we are a tinkerer. We could go sleep. Let's look to Dad. Hey, Dad, are you not sleeping? Hello, Magdalene. Dad's still up with many books. I don't know. I, I think we could maybe visit Baltasar and all. Talk to him. There's the Steinauer house. There's North Town, yes. There's the Rutt house. Stolz house. The Isenkopf house. Yeah, we're welcome here. Oh, who, who are they? Gnazio? Gnazio Isenkopf? No. Baltas workshop. I wonder if we can do another lesson soon. Who is that? Ciao, Magdalene. Uh huh. I know why we're learning Italian. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> What's going on in the rat house now? That it's dark. The rat house. Has nothing to do with rats, though. Hmm. It's rather a council, right? Oh, uh, well. I guess we could sleep. Let's just sleep now. Why not? Oh, God, I hope nothing happens to Dad. Later, I should get some rest soon. Ah, oh, we could stay awake. Maybe there's something we could do. We could visit Ertz. Ah, oh, we could probably not visit Ertz. Yeah, let's 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 just get some rest. Go to sleep. No socks here. No blankets either. Because, oh, God, Dad. Dad! Magdalene! Dad! Hang on, I'm coming! <gasps> Dad. Magdalene. Happened, are you all right? You're bleeding. Someone came into the house. They hit me over the head. I get to go get Dr. Stoltz. Try not to move, Dad. Darlene, it's not safe. Whoever attacked me. This wound is too deep for me to take care of it on my own. We need Dr. Stoltz. Darlene, be careful. I will. I'll be right back, I promise. I mean, he'll not come back to kill him. He could have already done that in a matter of seconds, right? Do you know why anyone would want to attack you, Klaus? No, maybe someone didn't like one of the books I sold them. Yoga, are you sure you didn't see a shadow and hit your head on the printing press? Father Thomas also has black hair. Come on, York, you saw the workshop. Somebody was looking for something. A burglar? A tassing? That's preposterous. Well, if it wasn't an attack, what was it? 
Well, enough. It was a deliberate blow to the head, unless any of you wish to debate my diagnosis. No, of course not. No. As I thought. Truthfully, Klaus, I'm surprised the blow didn't kill you. You have a strong skull. It's a grave injury, Magdalene. You'll need to help take care of your father. I will. Whatever I need to do, good. Of course, the, small, the mural will have to be called off now. Klaus, you absolutely cannot get out of bed. No, no, it has to be done. This is too important. Just give me some time to rest. I'll find a way to make it work. Georg, I don't think we need to cancel the entire project. Can't we just wait? Klaus, your health comes first, says Paul. Anyway, we haven't ever been able to agree on what the mural should be. Thomas, indeed, it might be best to abandon the entire idea. With respect, Father Thomas, you are not on this council. Thomas, yes, yes, just offering an opinion. I can paint the mural. What, Marx? Quit joking around. Jörg, well, I know you want to help your dad, but aren't you too young for something like this, this big? Let's skip this debate. We all know I'm capable of doing this myself. Dad knows I'm capable. Uh, if you don't trust Magdalene to do the mural, to hell with a lot of you. Klaus, if you don't trust her, you don't trust me. I'll never do any work for this council again. <laughs> all right, I say we let her... Well, it doesn't look like we have much of a choice. Very well. All right, Magdalene, you can do it. But you still need to talk to us about what you're doing, all right? Of course. Thanks, Magdalene. Rest up, Claus. I'll do my best, Jörg. Magdalene, just a moment. Yes, what is it? I didn't want to say this in front of your father or the others. Your father's lucid right now, but his injury is severe. His current demeanor is misleading. I know the injury is severe, but now I saw all the blood. Magdalene, there's damage to his brain. <gasps> he may have a few weeks, maybe even a few months left, but he's not going to survive. Can't we take him to see a surgeon? No, he can't be moved in this condition. In fact, he shouldn't move at all. Even if he could, I don't think the finest Italian surgeons would know how to deal with trauma like this. So he's just going to die? There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, you can make him comfortable, and you can enjoy the time you have left. I can help with palliative care, but time will run out before long. I'm sorry, Magdalene. So we have to paint the mural before Dad dies. What a great thing. Or we could spend some time with Dad. Great. What a great choice we have again. Dad needs to be able to see the mural in its finished form. But I don't know how much time he's left. Werner said it could be a few months. Or, God, protect him. I'll pick up where Dad left off. He wanted to paint the history of Tussing from its earliest days to the revolt. I'll start with the earliest part of Tassing's history, the pagan tribes and the Romans, then I'll move on to the founding of the Abbey and Tassing's saints. After that I should find a way to represent our recent history. Depicting the revolt is important to Dad. People in Tassing might know some of that hound's history, but not all of it. Dad said the library in Kirsau had those records. He was going to write to the last prioress to see if she had any information. I should write to her now. While I'm thinking about it. Yeah. All right, where to begin? Dad told me the last prioress at Kiersau knew something about the old history of Tassing. He said she became the abbess of a convent in Bologna, Mother Illuminata. Yes, it's Santa Margherita. I should write to her. A small town in the Republic of Genoa, along the coast of the Ligurian Sea. Mother Illuminata, abbess of Santa Margherita, formerly prioress of Kiersau Abbey. Hmm. 
I am the daughter of Klaus Drucker, Magdalene. We are printers from Tassing. You were acquainted with my father. He bought many books from the library before that terrible fire consumed the place. I'm writing because my father and I are creating a mural in the Tussing Rathaus. It's going to tell the history of our community and of Kiersau as well. We have only legends and folklore since, of course, all of Kiersau's books were destroyed in the fire. I was hoping you could tell us something about the early history of the town when the Romans were here. If you know anything about the early history of the abbey itself, we would also be glad to hear of it. We would appreciate any help you could give us, and we hope you are well. Hmm. If I would not mind a personal question, was it hard to return to Italy after being here for so many years? We were interested in Italy. Our circumstances are not that similar, but I wonder if I could ever leave this place. And if so, how it would feel. God bless you. Magdalene. If I want to finish the mural before Christmas, I should start planning tomorrow. I should head to bed and get as much rest as I can. late. I should get some rest soon. Go to sleep. Don't think about dad. Pray for him. How long have we slept? What's going on here? Hey. Ah, Mistress Drukarin, I have a few letters here addressed to you. Take care now. Thank you, sir. Mother Limonata wrote back to me. I hope her response helps me paint the mural. Mistress Druckerin, thank you for your letter. I hope this reply finds you and your father in good health. I remember you both, as your father would carry you between the rows of our library in its final years. I also remember your late mother and brother. God keep their souls. While we did have some books that discussed Tassing's past, it's likely they were as mythological as what your neighbors believe. That said, I remember one of the peasants, Tilman Kreutzer, read about the history of the town. I know he died during the revolt, but perhaps his family knows some of what he learned. I should also say that it's not true that all of Kiersau's books were destroyed by the fire. Andreas Mahler managed to save some from the flames. God rest his soul. In the aftermath of that terrible night, cataloging and preserving the surviving books was not at the top of any of our minds. Even so, this topic has stirred a memory within me. Several years before the fire, there was a death at Kiersau. The murder of Baron Rothfogel. He had mentioned something about finding a copy of Historia Tassier, a comprehensive chronicle of your home. I had forgotten about it until now because the murder dominated all of our thoughts in the days and weeks that followed. It troubles me now, because I recall that the late Father Matthias was also reading a copy of Historia Tassie shortly before he died. We never accounted for either book's whereabouts. They may have been hidden somewhere in the library and went up with everything else. Perhaps Prior Ferenc took it from the Baron after the murder. Ferenc had an interest in books of all sorts, of course, but it seems like an odd thing to do in the moment. Then again, only God knows what he did and why he did it. Miklaus Heberle, the Baron's manservant, believed it may have been stolen by the town thief Martin Bauer. If 
Martin is still alive, I would ask him if he knows where the book is. Now we know that Martin is actually another man impersonating him, Jobst further. Hopefully he didn't trade it for a mug of beer on his way out of Tussing. The man has passed from this world. Perhaps his family knows where the book wound up. As for the history of the Abbey, I fear that was also lost in the blaze. However, uh, Sacristan Prior Mathieu learned a great deal about the subject. Yeah. Appointed official in a monastery responsible for maintaining the sacristy where vestments and objects used in ceremonies are kept. The sacristan is also often the treasurer. I have not kept in contact with him, but I know that he's now the Archdeacon of Sion. In the Swiss? Yeah. Once a free imperial city of the Holy Roman Empire, Sion became the capital of Valais, and the canton joined the Swiss Confederacy following the Swabian War in 1499. He is no longer a Benedictine, but uses his family name, Fo Signy So. If you write to him soon, your letter may reach him before snow covers Valais. And Valais, canton in the Swiss Alps, Valais became an associate member of the Swiss Confederation in 1529. Regarding your question about returning to Italy, it was leaving Kiersau that was difficult. What happened during the revolt was a tragedy both for the hateful violence and the destruction of our community. Perhaps Kiersau should not have continued as it had for so long. Time caught up with us in the end. Only God is eternal. Snow will come soon to Bologna, not like it did at Kiersau, but it will remind me of better days. I must take comfort that wherever this frail body may be, as long as the Lord is with me, I am home. God bless you as well. Mother Illuminata, Abbas of Santa Margherita. Oh, Esther wrote to me as well. My dear Magda, my parents were glad to hear from your father. Please tell him they wish to hear from him soon. Speaking of printing, your ink was well received indeed. I've made several prints with it. It looked lovely on the wall. Elisha has taken to making his own ink from scraps he found around the house after he saw yours. Mother was furious when he spent several fennecs trying to find lapis at the market. And that's kind of stone, a blue stone. She set him scrubbing the floors for it. it took him three days... I'm glad you keep him busy, even though it keeps you from visiting. Father says we'll have a room whenever you decide to make an appearance. Though really, if you don't plan to stay in Tussing, you ought to come sooner rather than later. There are plenty of beautiful young Christian men around town, printers and academics alike. Or maybe something else, you'd have your pick. Prague is a good city for me as well. Before the expulsion, there was a handsome man at synagogue, Simund, who caught my eye. His father is a merchant, and he's a doctor. He went to the University of Padua. Can you believe it? I'd quite like to marry him if I can find him again. Anyway, I think you have, you'd have even better luck than me. The boys would swoon at a beautiful blonde artist from the Alps. Please, keep us abreast of your father's mural. We'll have to come see when it's finished. Blessings, Esther. I'll have to write Esther back tonight. I should head home and check on Dad. Hey, Dad, how are you feeling? Ah, oh, Magdalene. Sitting up upright is still a struggle, I'm afraid. The dizziness makes my stomach turn, so I'd rather not eat at the moment. You're sure I can bring up something light, like milk or broth? Says, no, no, I can't stomach anything just yet. Tell me, where are you off to? He hasn't really eaten for a month. <sighs> this is not boding well. I need to get started in the first part of the mural today, the old history. Mother Limonata didn't know much about Tussing's early history, but she gave me a few places to start. I'm going to ask Black Till. That's the... Uh, ah. If his grandfather told him any stories, Illuminata said he used to read about the Romans. Mother Illuminata... Magdalene. Right, yes, Mother Illuminata. Young Kreutzer has mentioned those tales from time to time. Yes, he comes by to borrow books now and then. Usually when he's found something, some interesting old ruin out in the fields, you might ask him about that. 
Il Peter always harumphed about how no one paid attention to the old, old ways anymore too. Il Peter, that's the irony of it all. That guy is still alive. I'm sure he'll have some stories to tell about old Tassing. You might stop to talk to him. Hmm, I didn't think of that. Thanks, Dad. Of course, Magda, it's nice to feel useful, even if I'm stuck here in bed. Really nonsense. I'm just glad you're awake. Klaus, you might talk to Smokey, too. Your charcoal burner seems to know more about what's in the woods around town than anyone else. That and he's a known gossip. Yeah, he's always been kind to me when I chat with him. I'm certain he'll know something about the ruins. Klaus, you may hear something worth your while at any rate. I'll go talk to him. But what about the ruins or the mines? I can't just use books and stories alone. I want to explore whatever is left over from the Romans and before. The salt mine and Roman ruins are the oldest parts of Tassing, so it only makes sense to see what they left behind. Klaus, ah, you take after your mother. She was always thorough in her research. You always said that's what good artists do, Dad. Klaus, be careful, all right? I know the twins mess round near the salt mine. But I don't want you getting hurt. I don't know why Jörg doesn't keep them in line. Always making trouble, those two. <sighs> don't worry about me, Dad. I'll be careful. Good. I still need you to run the press for a little longer, after all. Don't forget your other chores while you're running around town, all right? We still have a household to run. Oh, we have that too now. Hmm. I'll get to them, Dad. Good, good. I better get going if I want to do all of that today. I'll see you later, Dad. Good luck, Magdalene. Oh, the heck. <laughs> we have a lot to do. We have a lot to do. Pagan stories. Now, that's what interests me the most. Go to the pagan stories and then... Visit the boys in the forest and then go to Till. We also wanted to write a letter, but only tonight, I guess. You cannot do it all. Well, thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll do a lot of things together in the next episode and until then have a great time. And see you soon. Happy gaming to you. I'm still afraid of Father Thomas, in case. I'm pretty paranoid about him. So paranoid. So paranoid. Is the anchor still, still in there? I don't think so. There's also no flower here anymore. Oh, God protect us, dear friends and deep thinkers. And we'll see each other soon.